And now to the other major headline unfolding right now, the international manhunt for the most wanted terrorist in the world. Last night, we reported his identity. Tonight, the first pictures unmasked, wearing a Pittsburgh Pirates cap there. That team tonight saying they're sickened by the image. And here he is as a young boy, growing up in a middle-class neighborhood. He went to college. ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, and what he's learned tonight about the boy's childhood. And this evening, why our cameras were turned away in West London. This is the face of ISIS without his mask and his knife, according to his neighbors. Mohammed Ebwazi, seen on the front pages of British newspapers tonight. A London college student with a sneer and, unaccountably, a Pittsburgh Pirates baseball cap. How he went from this to this is the puzzle authorities and friends are trying to answer tonight. We'll begin to slaughter your people on your streets. One friend told the BBC Mwazi was happy with his life after graduation. We ne never realized that he will go to the, the jihadi. But one of Mwazi's elementary school teachers told the BBC tonight that at the age of 11, he was put into anger management therapy because he was getting into fights. We'd find that he'd get very angry and worked up, and it would take him a long time to calm himself down. By the age of 21, U.S. and British authorities say Mwazi was desperate to find a terror group that would take him, first trying to be part of the al-Shabaab al-Qaeda group in Somalia and finally accepted by ISIS about two years ago. Mwazi came of age in London as radical Islamists were urging young men to join the jihad against the U.S. and Britain. Most prominent was the activist Anjem Chowdhury, who we went to find today outside the city's biggest mosque. Do you know Mwazi at all? Chowdhury told me he did not know Jihadi John, but called him a Muslim brother whose brutal acts he refused to condemn. So as of now, you don't want to condemn it? I know what I want to condemn. I want to condemn you guys for being the, the tongue of the biggest terrorists in the world who are the Americans and their own allies, the British. British security services have been tracking him, was he, for some six years. And tonight they're under fire for letting him slip through their fingers and go to Syria to join ISIS. But authorities say he's just one of hundreds of young men who are being watched, many of them much more serious risks, and he was not under a 24-7 surveillance. David? Brian Ross from London tonight. Brian, thank you.